Pharrell, happy. Thank you very much to Yan Yan and Bally Bunyan for that video. Do you know where Bally Bunyan is? Yes. I think it's in Ireland. Yes, it's in Ireland. Looked a bit like Broadchurch, didn't it? I got that vibe. It looks yeah. totally like the crime-solving beach town thing. Mm. Thinking of it, what is season two of that show going to be about? Because no it was very specific, the first one. It was one crime. I hope the town doesn't just turn into Midsummer or something. Maybe they'll all be the killer. <laughs> or the, or the actual town is an alien. Right that sucks people underground. That would really be the plot twist that we're all waiting for. It I would. hope that that happens, Phil. Anyway, it is now time for the show that any nans reacting to it have probably contributed to themselves. You guys sent us in your stories of friends and family struggling to keep up with today's technology, and they are read out by the erotic tones of Radio 1's Matt Edmondson. This is Sorry, I Don't Know How to Internet. Internet? Isn't that a misplaced tennis serve in Yorkshire? I don't get all this facial book. The World Wide Web. Sorry, I don't know how to internet. Our first tale of technical woe comes from Lily. My great nan was using her laptop outside on her balcony. Okay. We asked her why, and she said that she thought the laptop was solar powered <laughs> and it only worked in the light. This actually happened. I mean, <laughs> clearly, she's been betrayed by calculators. So that's the only explanation. Yeah, technically, calculators are more far forward than laptops, aren't they? Everything with wires and plugs these days. Calculators, I don't think any of us even knew why they were immortal. I'm pretty sure if I just found the one under my bed from 15 years ago, it'd still be working. I'd buy a solar-powered laptop. Would just you? Just like have a hat that's solar-powered and plug into it USB. You'd walk around wearing a solar-powered hat charging laptop, would you? I know that Deborah Meaden's listening, so call me. OK, our next one comes from Abigail. I heard my dad listening to music on the computer, mm -hmm. and when I walked past, he deliberately stopped playing it. A few hours later, I checked the search history, Ooh. and he was listening to, of all people, Rick Astley. Oh, no. OK, I'm, I'm sorry. This is, in case you aren't familiar, don't, don't that, do of it. course, means... happening to us mentally, so we had to do it to them. You just rickrolled the entire nation, Abigail. How long had that been for you? At least a year. I, 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 exactly. Oh. Way to break my combo, Abigail. Ruined everyone's <laughs> lives. Our next one comes from Paris. I needed to check something out on YouTube, so I used my mum's tablet. Right. I went to type in the search, and the previously searched things came up. It was dog dancing on bed. Standard. Okay. What do dogs get up to when nobody's watching? Fair enough. Dad pulls boy's tooth out with toy helicopter. Mm -hmm. Singing okay. Italian nun. What? Pics of cats. <laughs> Justin Bieber, <laughs> Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2012. What? Wait, what? What? One of these what? things is not like the other. Okay. Which, um, see, that's a bit weird. Because a lot of that seemed like general browsing. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like pics of cats. That's just what you do when you're just looking for nothing in particular. But Justin Bieber, Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2012. That's an agenda. That's... She was looking for something in particular, wasn't she? I would be suspicious, Paris. Something's going down. I don't know what yet. Let's not look that up. The next one comes from Hannah. My mum thinks that every YouTuber is called Phil. If I'm watching <laughs> Kick the PJ Sing, she says, wow. Phil can sing well. If I'm watching Crab Sticks, she thinks it's Phil. If I watch her, <laughs> Phil is not on fire, she thinks both Dan and Phil are named Phil. I've explained to her who the real Phil is about a hundred times, but she doesn't listen. That's a horrifying nightmare world I've got then, where it's just a thousand Phil faces. I really enjoyed that. You know the name Phil is only 215th most popular? on the baby name list. Is that relatively high or low? That's uh, low, I think. Is, is it low? I think there could be more Phil's out there. Well, who, who's like carrying the flag for inspiring people to name their baby Phil at the moment? I don't know, any pregnant ladies listening, name your child Philip. Do it, do it. They might be asleep listening and just go into their subconscious now. There's okay, a Philip. I think you should stop. What's okay. the last one, Phil? The <laughs> final one comes from Phoebe. My mum thought my laptop was broken because of the dot that came up when you type in your password. She spent a good few minutes getting frustrated because she wanted to see what she was typing. It took her seven attempts to get her password right and log in. Wow. Passwords are getting pretty ridiculous though nowadays. It's like we need one letter, one uppercase letter, one dog's face and a little bit of magic Why before we we'll let that? you in. I don't know. There must be super hackers out there. I couldn't get into iCloud earlier okay. and I was trying to do it and the question to try and make me remember my password was, where were you on the 1st of January 2000? And I was like, That's what? so specific. I tried like home, nope, party, nope. That's insidious. At home crying in my bed. Ding. <laughs> let me in.
And that was Sorry I Don't Know How to Internet. Wow. If you have any stories of friends or family struggling to keep up with technology and you want to send them into our show, all you have to do is email it to danandphil at bbc.co.uk. And if you have any picture or video evidence of the person you know struggling with the technology, that would be really great for us. Now, Sophie's asking an important question in her next video. Mm -hmm. Should she go outside or embrace nature? Mm -hmm. Or browse Tumblr all day. <laughs> the question of our time. I was on the side of Tumblr till I noticed her giant trampoline. I want a trampoline. Here is Paramore with Still Into You. Thanks, Sophie. <laughs> 